Welcome back, everyone. It is time to get brushed up on our Hollywood news and, of course, some royal tea. Because, you know, there's never a dull moment in the royal family. So, to kick things off with this week's What the Hollywood is Prince Harry's recent visit to his home country and the let's call it a lackluster welcome he received from his family. In fact, according to the UK Sunday Times, the royal family allegedly iced out Prince Harry. Ooh, ouch. And as we all know by now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle shockingly stepped down as senior royals in January 2020, which in turn created a massive divide and disconnect between Prince Harry and Meghan and the entire royal family. Okay, so let's get back to Harry and his dad. The UK Sunday Times reports that Harry asked if he could stay in a royal residence while he was in the UK last week, and King Charles is said to have agreed to the request. However, in a weird turn of events, Harry ended up staying in a hotel for three days, and he was reportedly deeply stung by not seeing his father. In fact, a friend of Harry's told the outlet, quote, it surprises me a lot. It was I, I was fully expecting them to meet. I know that's what he wanted to happen, and I don't know when he's next back. So Harry's camp released a statement saying it was down to his father's busy diary and other priorities <clears throat> priorities that impeded them from visiting face to face during his visit. Now you'll remember the last time Harry and Charles actually saw each other in person was in February after the King announced his cancer diagnosis. So at this point, still seems like the relationship is a little rocky, maybe circumstances. Again, priorities were not in line. Okay, this next story, you guys, absolute music to my ears. So I think you know by now that my number one all time favorite actor is the late, great Robin Williams, and Mrs. Doubtfire is among my top 10 favorite movies. Well, our friends over at TMZ caught up with Matt Matthew Lawrence, who played Chris Hillard, the son to Daniel Hillard, in the 1993 film, Mrs. Doubtfire. There they are. Um, okay, so the TMZ photog pressed Lawrence about a potential Mrs. Doubtfire reboot and he said he's keeping an open mind about future projects. However, he's pretty positive that a reboot is unlikely, given the obvious reason. Robin Williams, unfortunately, is no longer here. So this unlikely reboot is the music to my ears because hello, everyone. You cannot reboot Mrs. Doubtfire without the real OG Mrs. Doubtfire, who ironically was an entirely made up person in the first place. Um, Lawrence then went on to tell TMZ, quote, without Robin, I don't think that movie is possible. In, two in 2014, they were talking about it and everyone was kind of buzzing about it. But I say good on Matthew Lawrence because he also said he wouldn't want to do another movie without Robin. So for all the Doubtfire fans out there, like myself, Matthew isn't ruling out reuniting with his former Doubtfire co-stars on another different project, mentioning that possibly a documentary about the beloved film could make for an interesting follow-up. Yes, please give it to me. He said, quote, documentaries, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm watching this. He said, documentaries are pretty cool, so I don't know, maybe we could do that. And you guys, here is the most amazing part. Robin Williams, now if you didn't know, Robin Williams improvised so much on this movie that the cameras actually ran out of film and according to the film's director, Chris Columbus, there are still 972 boxes of footage from the shoot in storage. I got chills. I wanna see all 972 boxes. I wanna see that nearly two million feet of film that was amassed during the production and due to the amount of improvisation on Williams' part, there were a PG, PG-13, R, and NC-17 rated cuts of the film. So please, let's make this documentary and let's just make it all about Robin. Okay, our final story is for anyone at any stage of a romantic relationship or let's just call it a relationship. Um, while he may have starred opposite Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber, Jeff Daniels actually has some not so dumb news about relationships. So Daniels is currently doing press for his new Netflix series, A Man in Full, which Jeremy reviewed last week during his rape review. And during his press tour, Daniels revealed the secret to his nearly 45 year marriage to his wife and high school sweetheart, Kathleen. So he told the outlet, quote, in the good times and the bad, She's been a leveling influence, my biggest fan, my biggest cheerleader, telling me, it'll be okay. You're going to get something else. It turned out she was right. Can I just say, women are always right. Okay, 
kidding. Daniels went on to reveal the key to a successful marriage, or at least the key to his successful marriage, is, quote, no one to shut up. Mansplaining is a disease, and the curse is just to stop talking. So, boom, Jeff Daniels dropped that mic. Can we get a round of applause? Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. But I will note, this doesn't just go for men. Okay, ladies, we also have to know when to tell ourselves to shut it down, not woman-splain things. Um, I'm guilty of it in a disagreement or an argument. It's very hard for me to stop running my mouth, but um, there we go. Jeff Daniels, word of the wise. Thank you so much. Uh, Jeremy, do you have a second to weigh in on? I don't, I don't know if I can pencil you in, though. I don't know. Get in here. I don't King know. Charles I'm, I'm the III, please, busy. please, your priorities need to be in line. I'm very busy right Are now. you surprised that Harry and, and King Charles didn't meet up? No. I don't, I just I'm do. I'm kind of over the whole royal family at the moment. Uh, well, yeah. I'm over them. Well, because then, you know, after uh, Harry was there for the Invictus Games, he went to Nigeria to meet with Meghan for other things that they had to do. But at this point, I mean, it just seems like the relationship, it's there. I think it's, you know, not repairable. Right. And then your whole doubt fire, no. I mean, stupid question. No reboot whatsoever. However, I mean, that, that should have been a question like, you're not going to reboot Mrs. Doubtfire. There's no way to. I mean, and, come on. Whoever that reporter was. Yeah. No, no, no. No, thank you. And also, I know that they keep, like, redoing movies. Like, Roadhouse was a recent one. I, personally, I haven't seen it, but, like, Patrick Swayze has passed on. Why do we need to reboot it, you know? So many great movies. But the documentary aspect of it, I would love to see all that unseen footage. Two million uh, feet of footage. Do you know what they Can you imagine to, by the way? <laughs> Speaking of that, that reminds me when Chris Lusader was here talking about all the footage they shot for Top Gun Maverick they didn't use. Yes. All the hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I'm like, you shot so much and you had to make like the, you know, the two and a half hour movie, whatever. Yeah. They should also do that for Top Gun Maverick. They should do that. They should just create a series of unseen footage and just I would boom, watch that. Boom, boom, boom. I do love good documentaries, especially how I like behind the scenes on how movies are made because you see it and you think that's amazing. And then yeah. guess what? Here's how it looks. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. So much more fun coming up on Ozark's Fox AM right after this. We'll be back.